Hey, Angry Nation, let me tell you a story. So it was Sunday evening and I was playing my favorite game. Frameshift drive charging. When I saw my phone rang and I recognized the number and I knew, and I knew it was from work. Work calling, and, don't pick up the phone. But I didn't know if I was on call or not, so I asked for the call. And the guy on the other side uh, said, listen, we have an issue with two ESXi hosts. Um, there was a planned maintenance in one of the offices in Europe, and after the maintenance finished, uh, it was building maintenance, so there was no power in the whole building. And after that, after they restored the power, um, the two ESXi hosts won't connect back to the center. Oh, no. I said, okay, um, the first question, am I on call? And they said, no, you're not, but the person on call doesn't know the password. Oh, no. Like, oh, no. The password is in the central vault. We use the, we use the um, like a central vault for the password. I won't tell you a name, but we, we, we use kind of password management tool where we can store the passwords and people with right privileges can access um, passwords. So basically I said the password is there and the answer was that they tried the password but it doesn't work. Oh, no. hmm. Very interesting. I said okay, what choices do I have? Either I go online and have a look now or we wait a few hours till morning and I would have to look anyway. If I do it now, I can log those hours as on call hours, which is bonus for me. So I said, why not? So I went to my office and I logged in and of course I went to drag and no problem with the password. But what I was thinking was because we have the special character at in the password like this and the on-call person was from US and the server was in EMEA, Europe. Obviously the edge sign was in a different place on the keyboard. So what you do in that case is to make sure that you have correct characters. You go into the login to the username and you type in those characters to see if they reflect actually what you want to type. Anyway, the password worked, so I was happy. Um, and then I, then I said, okay, let's try to reconnect that host to the vCenter. And that failed. And that failed with this strange, actually, I never saw that, but with the error message, which was this. But anyway, as this was planned maintenance, and the VM were down on that host and they were in um, power on back. I thought to myself, let's do what always needs to be done, which is... Hello IT, have you tried turning it off and on again? Exactly. So I just reboot the host. I reboot the host, it went back, it connected to the vCenter, no problem, no issue. I said, yeah, that is slam dunk, yes? So let's have a look on the second host. And I did exactly the same. So reboot the host, wait until it's back, try to reconnect, boom, zong. Unfortunately, the error didn't go away. So I said, wow, that is something not nice. What's going on over here? And I Google a bit that error and it appears that it was the issue with the name of in host D file. Um, let me just bring that KB for a second. So as you can see, the cause was due to non UTF-8 string in name property of numeric sensor VPXA. And the VPXA is the service which is responsible for connecting host to vCenter. And I went to the log and I checked the logs on that location and I got the same error message. But what was strange, this part, 
as you can see, the issue should be fixed in the version 7.0 update C. And my hosts were already on the update 2. But anyway, I said, let's have a look, let's give a go. So I went to do this. I log in to the SSH, I stopped the host D, and I went to this location, which is etc VMware host D. I tried to make a copy of config XML, and it appears there's no config XML file in that location. And I was puzzled, I said, okay, okay, that's strange. I tried to find a config XML, but I couldn't. So I went for help to VMware itself. So we make a call and the guy from the agent from VMware, and he had a look on the logs and he had a look on the maintenance mode and he checked a few things. And then we access the host through GUI and gather the support log bundle. And after a few minutes, about like 15 minutes, he came back to me and he said, this is a bit different issue. So yes, you have a similar um, error message in the log file, but the issue pointing for something else. And let's have a look, what was it? There you are. I'm going to reboot the host now. Yeah, and as you can see, that was a VIP. So this was VIP, and as far as I remember, he said it's a HPE VIP, but I have a Dell machine. I'm not too sure if I heard him right or not. But anyway, once we remove that VIP, host connect itself to the center like straight away. No issue, no problem whatsoever. Happy days, case close. <laughs> okay, guys, um, that's everything for what I prepared for you today. I hope that was uh, informative for you, maybe some fun. And just make sure you click like and subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment, read my blog, angrysysops.com, and, and head on to my Twitter account, which is at angrysysops. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.